Hey guys, it's Drunkins and Dragons here with another awesome episode. How to play D&D like a big old badass. What you do is you get yourself some eye protection. And uh, we're gonna do some sculpture work with a blowtorch. We're doing a uh, corrosive rust monster lair, which is like a corroded rusty cave. And to do the key sculpture work, instead of doing all these little cuts and stuff, we're just gonna melt some corrosive pools right into the polystyrene block here. Um, for doing this technique, get the good stuff. Get the good, uh, get this brand. It's pretty simple, really. You just get your blowtorch started and uh, improvise. Now this will make your, your polystyrene a little harder and have a, a little bit harder to cut surface, so be careful. Well, I mean, it is a blowtorch, so judiciously use it. We're going. So you don't need a ton. And uh, I think I'm just gonna make like two or three blobs and a kind of a rivery thing. So here we go. So you can get a lot of interesting effects with exactly how gnarly you get with the burn. I think I'm about done. All right, and, uh, and there you have it. So now we're gonna go back into the laboratory all burnt and melted in all kinds of cool ways. And you can see not only do the the prime burn areas become your most your coolest areas, but just a lot of the peripheral burn will give you this cool ice-like look and burn pattern. So you could use this technique to either create ice or corrosive, melted, alien looking stuff. There's a lot of possibilities. There it is. So I've got my black paint on there and it's drying. Now we're gonna use the magic of television to fast forward. Oh, all right, programs. So as you can see, you're gonna go from that big burnt piece of polystyrene, then the black base coat, a little bit of sponging with your gray, and then using dry brush to paint on your greens and your yellows and get this corrosive look. Um, you know, taking it to another level, you might want to do a clear epoxy to do some liquid in these pools. Uh, ours were all sort of dried up, freaky corrosion for the rust monsters to dwell in. Um, makes an awesome setting change for your players if they're getting really used to like a gray stone underdark. Ah, my face is too close to the rusty corrosion shit. Please watch the follow-up video. Um, I believe it's called Corrosion Cave where I'll uh, show you the whole layout and how we did the gameplay using this craft art stuff technique. Goodbye. Uh...